Hey, Tim here. We just did Oracle Reefs and this uh, Stronghold 40 that BNS had. I think they're from Kingdom 82. Yeah, Kingdom 82. Uh, he has a, I guess, a particular march that he likes to use, which is, uh, boy, I hope we face these guys <laughs> in, uh, in, uh, KVK at some point. I'm just going through here and seeing where he attacked. Where was this at? This was, uh, okay, we were garrisoned. I didn't have enough gold to mega garrison, so, uh, even then we still held up pretty decently. Um, uh, solo attacks on a solo attacks on a garrison from a 40 are not a, not a guaranteed deal okay he's got a million troops we have 1.7 now this is in oracle reef so the landmarks are never going to be full uh kvk that's a different story um anyway i'll show you what he brought infantry what, like 200k infantry and 900k, 800k distance. Um, we started out with 472. That's a pretty good amount of infantry. But we weren't mega garrisoned. I don't, <laughs> I don't have enough gold to do that. But I'm going to show you this. He attacked my estate. Now, this guy right here, I mean, I don't normally go around calling people names. But this is boneheaded right here to do this. Like, he's, clearly he's a 40, so he's probably got a lot of troops, but you can see what I've got in my estate. Not only are you fighting every single troop in the estate, you're you're facing these three stats down here that you have no way of overcoming with a normal attack. Not to mention a lot of that stuff down here at the bottom is green compared to him. Also... You get the army damage bonus. I think that comes from Phoebus. Well, obviously Phoebus Adarius gives an army damage and an army damage received bonus. So they're going to be higher as well. So the top two and, the, and these three down here at the bottom estate are uh, uh, bonuses are going to be, you know, things you can't overcome. So you're going to lose troops. He lost 355,000 versus my 416,000. So, I don't know. I, I just think that's a boneheaded move to make, you know. But uh, what's really key here is that he's only bringing infantry and distance. And then, so I start to chew through his distance. 204K of infantry versus 800K of uh, distance. Well, I mean, I took a good chunk of his. I took 150,000 of his distance. So... Uh, call that what you will. These two are, are paired decently. Uh, they both bond with Kong, so they get a bond. Let's look at uh, their fifth skill. Let's see <clears throat> if the uh, shred effect. Okay, so let's look at Freya real quick. I don't have Freya maxed, but. Okay, so she can inflict the shred effect. So that's a good hero war master setup. But boy, that march, I wouldn't call it garbage, but it's garbage. Like, what are you thinking? You know what I mean? You need to have a balanced march. Uh, let's see. He attacked me again. He was just constantly on me because I was his only viable target, but. You know, when you got 4.5 million troops, bring it. You know what I mean? I'm just attacking the Atlanteans. Uh, I can't remember what this were. I think I think this was... I don't know where that's at. I don't think... That might have been an attack on his estate. I don't know. Um, but the object is to kill the Atlanteans. <laughs> So spend, waste all your time attacking in a state. So this is where it started. I think this might have been, yeah, that was in a landmark. So I just knocked them out of the landmark is all I did there. 
And then this one was, uh, this was also at a landmark somewhere. Can't remember. It might have been North Oracle or whatever. But I just wanted to go over those two attacks where he lost a significant, between those two attacks, he lost 700,000 troops, 750,000. I lost about 850, I think. But this is a, this is a dumb setup. This is a dumb setup where you bring infantry and distance. I, I don't know. That's a guess is what he's doing. Well, distance does so good at the Titans, so it must be good in PvP. But it's not. So I would not recommend anybody in crew do that setup. Because once you go through your infantry, um, it'll start killing your distance. And your distance kills infantry. So um, you need that buffer of infantry and cavalry before your distance starts dying. So anyway, that's that. Just thought I'd go over that battle report, show you how knuckleheaded some of these stronghold 40s can be. Anyway, thanks for watching.